today, we'll be going over the draft from G2 vs Rogue in the LEC. Now this was actually a pleasant surprise of a draft. Both of them were pretty solid and created a relatively equal playing field entering the game. Let's take a look. G2 first picked Nico. Not much to say here. Super OP champ ever since her rework last season, and with the new items, AP champs are just really strong. Riot, please nerf Storm Surge. Rogue answer with Varus and Zinzao. I've liked Varus and thought he's been super underrated for a while now, and with the new items he can build on hit, AP, or lethality even more effective than before. He's also very long range and scales like crazy. He is immobile though, so if G2 drafts easy to land CC, he could struggle, but overall I really like the Varus pick. Zin I also really like. He works great with the new items, especially Titanic Hydra, and is a strong early skirmisher who can take Void Grubs and Dragons very well. He literally has zero 1v1 jungle matchups he loses early game, so I think Zin is actually quite strong right now. G2 answer with Trundle and Aphelios. Now the Aphelios is fine. It obviously scales great and matches range with the Varus, so it won't get abused in lane. The Trundle pick however is the one super sus pick of the draft for me. First, he loses the early 1v1 to Zin, so a lot of his early skirmishing power is nullified here. Second, Rogue hasn't picked any tanks, so it's possible you'll get no value from Trundle ult, which is really what makes him a strong skirmisher. Also, as a side note, I don't understand why teams are banning Nocturne on blue side while first picking Nico. Sure, you want to deny Noc from the enemy first rotation, but if they take him there, you can just take Zin Zhao on second rotation blue side. It seems simple to me, but maybe I'm missing something. Anyways, Rogue finished first phase with Azir, which I like. It goes even into the Nico lane, scales great as usual while abusing the new items, and it matches range with Varus, giving Rogue a very long range, tough to dive backline. Through the first phase, I'd give Rogue the slight edge. They have more cohesive themes and easier to execute teamfight dynamics. They continue this trend with R4 Rakan, which is fine. As far as blind picking support goes, I think it's actually very good. Just a good staple champion with no real weakness and multiple possible themes. Nothing to complain about there. G2 round out with Jax and Rel. The Jax I like. He's very good right now as always, but the Rel is a bit off for me. I think this champ kinda sucks because she can't engage effectively without flash. She really needs to find creative angles to engage late game, which is very hard to do in high level competitive plays. Anyways, G2 has built a pretty low range dive type comp with the exception of Aphelios. The only pick that bothers me here for G2 is the Trundle, which I still struggle to understand its purpose. Anyways, with R5k Sante, Rogue will set the stage for pretty basic scaling front to back team fight. I think Jax will eventually win the 1v1, but split push doesn't really exist anymore, so the teamfight dynamics for Kesante will be just fine, considering Aphelios will likely be left on his lonesome in most situations. Overall, honestly a pretty solid draft from both sides. I would slightly favor Rogue because they have superior scaling in my opinion, and good theme counters with Varus and Azir, doing well into short range like Trundle, Jax, Nico, and Rel. Thanks for watching, see you next time.